Hi folks, thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Greg and this is All About Candles. I'm your self-proclaimed Canadian candle connoisseur. Today I have a review for you from Bath & Body Works. This is Endless Sea. This was an absolutely beautiful, beautiful candle. I took a couple videos of it when it was burning so that I could show you just how beautiful it was when it was all lit up. I mean, I really think that this is one of the most beautiful candles that Bath & Body Works has ever released, especially when it's burning. Um, this came out with Wild Sand, and most people, I think, preferred Wild Sand, whereas I preferred this one. I don't think any of them were extremely popular, but I enjoyed this candle, and I, I really, I enjoyed smelling it, and I enjoyed looking at it. I always made sure to burn this candle somewhere that was like, right in my line of sight because I just thought it looked gorgeous. I might be a little bit biased here because I will pretty much buy any candle that has the word C in it. I love aquatic, briny, ozone-y um, candles like that. Um, the scent notes on this one are fresh bergamot, saltwater, saltwater lily, and ocean driftwood. Yeah, I like this a lot. Um, it's, it's, it's not spectacular and special. And in fact, what I think is a really spectacular and special candle is You, Me, and the Sea. This is by far the superior choice. I think I like this one a bit more because it also mixes a bit of floral, some orchid in there. Um, but this one came out first and it's a, it was a really nice burn. It was quite, it was quite pleasant. I wish it had been a little bit stronger. Um, the bergamot does give it something that's a little bit zesty and there's definitely a bit of an aquatic floral going on there with the saltwater lily, but it's not as pronounced as the floral that you get in you me and the sea which i believe is orchid yeah it's not as it's not as prominent ocean driftwood i think they say that just to sort of signify a saltiness and a brininess i don't get much of a woodsy drift wood component from this um i wish it had been a little bit stronger i think that if it had been a little bit stronger I'd be ranting and raving about it more. I'd say that the strongest that this got was about a six, you know, and my sweet spot for candles is really like a seven or an eight. Uh, so this just kind of missed the mark for me in terms of that. Although it wasn't the strongest or most cap captivating fragrance, I enjoyed it and I liked having it around. I mean, it just looked... It just looked so nice when it was burning. It's not a repurchase for me because um, the sea candle that I have repurchased in spades is the You, Me, and the Sea. Um, I don't think that we'll see this one again, but I thought I'd review it for posterity. Maybe some of them will come out on the shelves during a semi-annual sale. Maybe someone out there, a Bath & Body Works historian, will be interested at this, in this at some point. Yeah, you, me, and the sea. One more note, though, as beautiful as this candle is, I think they really missed the mark with the lid. If they had put a white lid, I've got a white lid here. I think it would have looked a lot nicer with a white lid on it. There you go. <laughs> Just throwing my two cents in. <laughs> Anyways, thank you so much for joining me today. If you could uh, leave me a like, a comment, a subscription, tell your friends, tell your mom, tell your loved one, that would mean the world to me. And until next time, let's burn some candles and bitch about it. <laughs> Thanks, folks. Bye-bye.